Hi guys and welcome to one of our famous investigation videos. Uh, now if you haven't seen any of these uh, previously, if you're a new collector uh, or a new uh, viewer to the Football Cards and Stickers YouTube channel, be sure to check out our previous year's investigations uh, where we investigate the scam which is ran by uh, Tops when they release their football card collections. Uh, this time we've got for you today eight of these Tops Match Attacks SPFL 2016-17 uh, multi-packs, each of which contains five packs and will include an exclusive limited edition card. Uh, now in previous years, let's just get this cover off, I have slit all the uh, undercovers. In previous years, uh, we have had this horrific limited edition card variation of gold, silver and bronze and that still runs today. Uh, now, as you can see, the odds which are displayed there, we have bronze, five in every eight multi-packs on average, silver, one in every four multi-packs, and gold, one in every eight multi-packs, which is absolutely disgusting, uh, expecting uh, a young collector, as these uh, match attacks cards, more so, they're, they're not the premium collections uh, released by tops, uh, like the quality ones, like the Champions League showcase, which are on sale in the US and that. These are just uh, poor uh, version cards, and uh, we have uh, they expect you to buy on average at least eight multi packs at five pound or eight euros each uh, out of your pocket money if you're a young collector. Uh, so that's really disappointing. And uh, for the 2016 17 season, uh, an even more ridiculous uh, decision, as you can see, um, they've tried to hide it away here. It's got limited editions, there's going to be two different. Uh, limited editions meaning you could get a gold silver or bronze of one player or second player so there's six different limited editions inside these and uh, two golds therefore uh, making you have to get a two in 16 multi-pack so they even want you to uh, splash out on 16 multi-packs on these ridiculous limited editions we're going to be testing it we've got eight from the same outer all in a row uh, we haven't bought these separately or anything, uh, so these are just eight straight out, and we're going to see what they give us. Um, I don't think you can get a good result. As you can see, they originally, uh, their marketing ploy was to really show the uh, different limited editions, which I'll show you here. As this comes off, they've glued this on well, so hopefully you don't see it. But there's the different limited editions, Scott Brown and James Tavernier, as you see there, gold, silver and bronze. So really, really uh, disgusting scenario, this. Um, it gets worse and worse year on year, and we thought it was bad last year, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open all the multi-packs and uh, see what else we get inside it, because we surely want a few hundred clubs uh, in the multi-pack if they're going to rip us off by these limited editions. So let's get this uh, first multi-pack. Let's get all the packs off. Just a quick heads up, the limited edition pack will be in there. We'll actually do the results of the limited edition first, and then you guys can stay on the line if you want to see what else we get. So let's remove all these, all these packs from these eight multi-packs. As you can see, they're uh, attached with the uh, backing board. They are the standard uh, retail packets inside, so hopefully we should have a good chance of getting some either Man the Match or um, 100 clubs. And going to be very, very interesting. We're also going to uh, take a lot of results from... Um, other collectors of course as well and perhaps we'll produce an entire uh, results video as well uh, including those results at a future date just to ensure that they have the uh, limited edition variation results correct so we're heading through nicely now going to be looking forward to uh, opening all these packs at least anyway so we can get our standard set um, really they should drop these uh, variations of limited editions they should drop the limited editions altogether for you guys and, and then you can enjoy the collections uh, much more 
Right, so there's that one. And now we have our last multi pack. Honestly, it makes you wonder who makes this decision uh, where they can uh, do this to uh, collectors, especially youngsters. Uh, not so much myself, who uh, I'm okay to afford these, but you youngsters who don't get massive amounts of pocket money, they just don't look after you guys. Uh, so let's get the first one open and uh, we shall see what happens. So we're going to do our limited edition investigation first. Here's the card, the base cards. We shall pop them there. And we've got a Kermanic logo, which are logos come very, very frequently. Michael Moffat. And there we have the 100 Club of Johnny Hayes. So that's the first 100 Club. And we start off, as you see, with Adam Rooney, a silver limited edition, as you see there. So there's actually a different player within the multi pack they've made it and um, I think he believes I believe he's instead of James Tavernier of Rangers we shall just confirm that shortly um, but we shall see what happens uh, as uh, James Tavernier is in the um, collector tins which of course you will be able to see an investigation on the channel even now or in the future uh, online on that and there's this guy who comes out virtually every pack of I don't know how many times I've got David Wotherspoon in swap then we have another star player Mark Stewart and our limited edition this time yes indeed it's a bronze uh, Scott Brown so uh, that's our first bronze so the limited edition Scott Brown of Celtic and Adam Rooney of Aberdeen is a base for the next limited edition pack and Rafe Rovers logo boom and here's our first gold as you see there of the Aberdeen striker Adam Rooney uh, so do you get uh, what I mean guys when you're watching this you'd need to have a gold Adam Rooney and a gold Scott Brown uh, absolutely disgusting that they can do this uh, but the inserts are going okay actually uh, in the one in eights but um, I think more the issue with this collection this year is can you afford to buy 16 multi-packs at least uh, on average to get those two goals. Here we have Dumbarton badge, boom, and this time we pull another gold, Adam Rooney, so a second gold of Adam Rooney. So there, if we would have been very, very well off if we could. Uh, at this stage had there only been one card but being as there's two different cards you see we're still chasing the Scott Brown silver and gold really really uh, unintelligent decision from the publishers of course uh, Darren O'Day star player Jamie Adams star player here's our next hundred club and it is the Rangers defender Lee Wallace and then our um, limited edition is it is Scott Brown Silver, so Scott Brown Silver. Uh, so we have the bronze and silver there. Uh, so far of Scott Brown, silver of Rooney and two golds as you can see there for him. Let's uh, move the 100 clubs to there. Uh, we've got two more packs with the limited editions in uh, to complete our eight multi-packs. Here's the base. We've actually done okay with the 100 clubs so far. Um, Graeme Shunny, star player. And our limited is, it's the bronze of uh, Adam Rooney. So we would have a set now, as you can see, uh, within the first set of the uh, ones there. Uh, however, we still require that Scott Brown gold. Will he be in this last limited edition pack? I very, very much doubt it, but let's find out. We can forever live in hope, guys. Here we go. Danny Wilson, Derek McKins, David Syme, uh, Garcia Tenner, uh, Martin, Tidsa, Alston. Let's just have a look at these. So our insert card is the Dundee logo, and our limited is, bang, it's another bronze, as you see. Another disappointing bronze of Scott Brown. Uh, so, as you can see, with our eight uh, multi-packs, we have two goals, both the same though, uh, Adam Rooney, as you see there. We had two silvers, which consisted of one brown and one Rooney. And one, two, three, two. We had 
free bronze. Uh, so perhaps with uh, one, two, three, four, five. We put a limited edition over here. We'll keep an eye out for that. Um, typical error there from football cards and stickers. But let's move on anyway, and uh, we shall open the rest of the pack. See how many more hundred clubs uh, we can get within the bit here, and then hopefully we will find the next limited edition. So we have the Partick logo, and guess yes, guess who it is? Of course it is. It's Wotherspoon star player. I think I've got enough cards of Wotherspoon to uh, decorate a house with. So moving on is the base. And the Dumbarton logo again, we've seen that one before. And Scott Sinclair, star player from the Champions Glasgow Celtic. Or Celtic, I should say, as you guys know who Celtic are. And next up we have Scott McDonald, star player. And then another star player, Mark Doherty. And the Queen of the South badge. these packs. Here's the base and just a St Johnston logo this time. On to our next base again. Andres Tom. So here's the inserts. Uh, we have Delgado star player and the Aberdeen uh, star player Shinny, as you see there. I hope that's pronounced right for you guys, or let me know if I haven't. I'm sure I probably haven't. Ah, there's the uh, Celtic logo. And our first man of the match, believe it or not, uh, Michael O'Halloran of Rangers. Uh, man of the match is very difficult to obtain in this collection. A real, real shame that they've haven't worked out the ratios as we continue through and our insert is of Scott McDonald star player of Motherwell as you can see plenty of star players uh, making up the multi-packs right, next to our inserts we have Delgado again star player and a penalty specialist, which is of John Baird, as you see there. Let's put the uh, penalty specialist somewhere different as we continue on. Right, on to our inserts of Ross County uh, logo. And we have our second man the match. Uh, which is of Ziggy Gordon. Can you see that? Ziggy Gordon. Uh, there he is. Let's pop him on the man the match pile. Next pack out. Here's uh, Jason Cummins and of course his club Hibernian of Edinburgh. Really cool logo that one. Next pack, there's the Rangers coach Warburton, Warburton, sorry. And our insert is again of Celtic, their Celtic logo. Here we have Joey Barton of Rangers, star player card, followed by our next man the match, Luke Leahy of Fal Falkirk, Falkirk, man the match. I think some Scottish subscribers uh, taught me how to say Falkirk rather than I used to say Falkirk, I think, last year. I think you guys will remember. Um, so I'm always willing to listen, as you know, guys. Greenock Morton's uh, badge there and Martin Waghorn, penalty specialist. They go up here. Moving on to our next pack. And we finish with the insert Koulibaly star player. Koulibaly. And let's pop the base on there. 
this one we have Boyata here's our inserts yet again another logo St Johnston uh, then we have Baird Penalty Specialist we've seen him before as you guys know and next up we have all very cool Ali McCoist shiny Derby Day Hero uh, that one there let's pop him over there and then we have the Hamilton Ackies logo All right, so on to our insets, Dundee United logo, another penalty specialist, and here's our other limited edition, uh, which we've found, as you see there, and uh, it's, an, it's a different one, as you can see, uh, James Tavernier, so maybe that's another limited edition. We'll pop him uh, on the side there, not a very good one, uh, as you saw for yourself if it was. It's just a bronze, uh, which is disappointing. There's Keith Lasley for the second time running, Motherwell's captain. And guess who, as you can see, Wotherspoon again, wow. And then we have Mark Doherty, star player, uh, also within that packet. Here's our next pack with the base. And this time we have the Greenock Morton logo. Moving on to the next. And Koulibaly star player. Uh, followed by finally another man of the match, uh, Alan Forrest of Air United. Alan Forrest, man of the match. So continuing on. And the inserts this time are the Aberdeen logo and Derek Lyle star player of the Queen of the South Our next peg out with the base right and guess who yes you guessed it Wotherspoon uh, followed by Lee Griffiths or Lee Griffiths penalty uh, specialist let's pop him on there and a man of the match, yes, Ian Davidson, man of the match in that pack. On to our next Dumbarton logo, that's featured a few times uh, in the multi pack so far. So you get plenty of base cards as you can see and uh, star players which mount up Scott McDonald's star player that time this time we get the St Johnston logo again that's appeared a few times also And then we have Ali Crawford, star player of the Hamilton Ackies. Barton logo. And Rafe Rovers logo completes that pack. An air logo amongst there. There's Rooney's uh, base card. This time we get the St Johnston logo yet again, and a Derby Day hero, Juan Sara of Dundee. So Derby Day heroes in that top right there. Moving on. As we go to the base again, Dumbarton logo yet again, and Thomas O'Ware. A defender there of Greenock Morton star player moving on here we have uh, Koulibaly star player and De Vries Derby Day hero shiny that's our third shiny of those and here's our other existing limited edition as you see uh, it's of 
um, Scott Brown silver, so our second Scott Brown silver. So as you can see, we ended up with the eight multipacks, two golds, three silvers, and three bronze. Uh, but unfortunately, because there's this new uh, scam which tops a run in this season with two different players uh, in the multipack, we still required a gold, as you see. So that's uh, very, very disappointing, whoever thought of that. So let's continue through and then we can give you uh, some odds on some of the other uh, cards which you'd like to get within a multi-pack so you can see whether it's worth it or whether you're just better off buying packets from a booster box. Uh, so there's the Dundee United logo. But as you can see, I don't think we're going to bother with star players and logos. I think you can get those uh, in boxes and multi-packs uh, every pack virtually it's just uh, how many man of the match cards etc so star player there so of course we'll have opened a total of 40 packs in total uh, for, there's another star player 40 packs in total and uh, so we have managed out of those eight multi packs, we have got one extra limited edition card. So you would basically, on average, have one in eight uh, chance of getting another limited edition with your limited edition you got within the multi pack. So not very good odds there. And then we have 200 club cards, as you see there from the eight multi packs. So um, I would say that's actually quite good. Uh, you'd have a one in four multi-packs chance of pulling a hundred club which isn't too bad really and considering especially when you look at the man of the match cards now from 40 packs or eight multi-packs we have only managed to get one two three four five man of the match cards so it averages out at less than one man of the match card per multi-pack which is absolutely horrendous as well and we thought the limited edition scam was bad but this is very bad. You have a five in eight chance of getting one man of the match card. Wow. I didn't think I'd be uh, reporting that to you, uh, lads. Let's move on, though. So here's our penalty specialists, where we again, we got five in eight chance of grabbing a penalty specialist card. Or I should say one, one in eight packs chance. And then we only got free shiny Derby Day Heroes, so very, very disappointing overall. Uh, possibly uh, this multi-pack with the six different limited edition cards because of the two different players uh, is probably the worst ever match attacks product I have ever opened at the, um, up to this date. Absolutely disgusting whoever chose uh, to do that and uh, big thumbs down to them. I hope they uh, get the boot. Absolutely disgusting decision, uh, let alone, um, and that's for adult collectors, let alone you youngsters who don't want to waste money, especially uh, from you youngsters who love the Scottish League, of course. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the opening uh, in the end and uh, enjoying seeing some of the cards and seeing your opportunity on whether you think it should be worth uh, spending the £5 on a multi-pack or saving it for elsewhere. I would advise 100% do not buy more than three multi-packs for this collection. That would be the Football Cards and Stickers advice. Um, I just have opened this amount just to show you um, how horrific it is and what an example it has been really, especially with the man, the match cards. Uh, but anyway, uh, at the end of the day, let's hope we can complete our collection. We, you know where uh, most normal people will not collect these limited edition cards now. They know uh, that the Topps company which produces them just tries to scam them out of money. Uh, and of course... Um, we shall hopefully uh, do binder updates now and have got a lot closer now we've got this amount of cards for our collection. Um, and don't forget to stay tuned for those videos. Uh, and of course I shall see you all in those videos. But until then, arrivederci.